there, my name's James. I'm with Carbon Games, and I want to show our new game called Air Mech. So, this is an action RTS game, and I've got the Uber unit here, where I'm actually able to pick up my units and move them around. So it's like a cross between a StarCraft game and a Dota style game, where you can actually get down to the action. So here I transform into a giant robot and take out this tank. Here's the, the other enemy flying around, I'm gonna chase him down. We're actually planning this to be a free-to-play game, up to 3v3 plus survival mode. The object of the game is to destroy the enemy's base. You can do that any way you want. You can do a direct assault with your air mech. You can take over bases and send in your own little units. Right here, I'm gonna queue up a, a rocket truck and a tank and send them towards the, the enemy. So I haven't captured this base here. You see I've got some creeps coming in. The creeps are gonna take over that base for me. I think they need a little support, so I'm gonna drop a rocket truck down next to them, give them some defense. I've also got a special creeper unit here that we built just for Minecraft. This is like a little uh, exclusive content you'll just see right now. I don't know if it'll be yanked out or not. We'll, we'll, we'll find out after we talk to Notch or get a word from the legal department, maybe. They just uh, will blow up when anybody gets near them. It's like walking mines, as you would expect. So, right here I'm just playing 1v1 against the, the training AI, but you'll be able to play in teams of 2v2 or 3v3. If you think of it like a, like a League of Legends style game where you've got your heroes, your air mech is your hero, and you're fighting against your, your, your opponents. And here's just some extra creeps. I'm gonna kill these creeps, or try to kill them, to get a little bit more experience. Here, I died, so it's not a big deal. I come back to my base, say, oh, I could use a tank. That would, uh, that would help me if I'm fighting against those guys again. Or I'll just pick up this guy here and take him with me. So if I drop down this, uh, this tank over here, then I can fight next to them. He's soaking up the damage, he's taking the hits, and I'm safe and sound. So I'm clearing out this path for my infantry to come through. You can actually even scoop up multiple units. So I can pick up all these guys here and move them up to my front line. See, this base has been taken over by him, so I'm gonna deploy these units here. And they provide a pretty good defense against incoming uh, enemies. So, a few more creeps. And this base should be mine. Every one of these bases I have is another place where I can get energy back, which is for my special abilities and also just flying around using energy. And it heals me. So it's like, it's a forward position that you really want to, to capture. They also give you money. The, the money is the only resource you have in the game. It's a very simplified uh, way of handling things. Every unit that you build has a certain amount of time and a certain cost associated with it. So if I want to have something cheap like an armored car, you know, they'll build pretty quick. If I want something heavy, like a defensive turret, that'll take out air and ground gear. But it isn't allowed to move. So everything has a, a tactical use, whether you want to you know, go for the, uh, you know, a defensive strategy, a rush strategy, or just a support strategy. So here's the turret. So when I put the turret down, it actually needs to deploy for a second to keep people from just creeping them up forward. So I have a balanced army here, but I can jump out and show you how you can customize your army if you want to be a more uh, specialized role, especially for playing like 2v2. So here's a, you can take a pilot. These offer you passive abilities. The air mech itself, you can jump in here and there's a helicopter with different abilities. He's good for cargo. The bomber, UFO, or an advanced fighter. The stealth is pretty fun because uh, he's got uh, bombs that he can drop. Uh, I'm going to swap out the creeper for a, an actual mine and let's take a, you know, a heavier tank and, instead. I can even swap out my infantry for an infantry that does healing abilities as well. So if I jump back into uh, a map now, I've got a different set of units I can build. Now this is a larger map we're playing on actually. And instead of just having a one line that goes back and forth, you've got a, a big circle that you're, you're trying to navigate around to attack the enemy with a single island in the, in the middle. So I'm going to build up uh, you know, and some engineers to, to get them out early, take over some bases. If I can capture some of the early bases, it gives you a big advantage. But if I see his infantry coming at me, I can just uh, throw down some bombs. Take him out. Let's see if I can uh, figure out where he's coming from. Uh, I've actually run out of uh, energy because it's early on. Like You have a low level when you start playing the game, and you'll level up throughout the, the, progress of the progression of the game. So early on you want to be using uh, units more, and then towards the end you'll find yourself relying more on the, on the actual power of the air mech as you unlock special abilities. 
So we've got one more mode that I can uh, quickly jump out and just to show you the way the, the map is laid out. I probably won't have time to really get into a full game of that. This is a survival mode. So I've just got one base here and I can play this with up to three other friends. And everyone here is just working to defend this one base against incoming hordes of enemies. So here's the other team coming in and I don't have very good defenses set up so I'm just going to take them out. Personally, that's the nice thing about this. Is you can, you, you're never at a loss for what to do. If you've got a lot of problems going on, and like, oh my God, what's, I didn't have enough units there. You can just jump down and turn the tide of the battle yourself. It's uh, the, the big difference between this and, and other RTS games. I feel. Right now, this is on PC. We're in alpha testing. It's uh, intended to be a free-to-play game. That's what we're, uh, we're we're trying to set up. Uh, we've got servers running. Uh, apply to be in the alpha test right now. Help shape the game. Tell us uh, what you like, what you don't like, what air you want to see. It's uh, scheduled for release early next year. We don't have a publisher at this time. We're uh, just doing everything ourselves, totally independent and loving it. So thanks for your time and uh, come to our website with uh, carbongames.com or do a search for air on YouTube and you'll uh, find out a lot more about us. For more on air stay tuned to IGN.com.